Hey, I'm back and I'm the rubber band man. And with me today is Sam. Sam's one of my personal trainers out at Fit Strategies. And today we're out at Intense City. That's another training center we have out in Indian, uh, Indian Springs. Uh, and Sam's gonna help me out. Uh, Sam, say hi to the folks out there. Hi, how y'all doing? Uh, Sam's been a big asset to us. I'm really excited about his career. He's actually going to school to be a, a chiropractor. Yes, sir. Uh, and today we're going to do something unique. This, this is a good way for you to increase your bench. And what we're, we're going to do is we're going to go with approximately 60% of Sam's max. Okay. Sam hasn't been training heavy for a while, so his max approximately is 275? Yeah, about 275. Okay. So we put on the bar 155. And now we're going to take these rubber bands and put those on there as well. And we're gonna shoot for a set of six to eight repetitions. And the idea with the bands is, you don't wanna go slow, you wanna go fast, okay? Because an element of power is speed. So this is gonna help us tap into that speed and potentially increase your, your bench press power. So what I've done here, I have a 70 pound dumbbell anchored to the floor. I'm gonna bring this up and hook this on the bar. And I already have the other one anchored. Okay, and I'm gonna get behind you. If you're doing this at home, man, make sure you got a spot. Otherwise, this will become a big mouse trap. Okay, and that won't be good. Okay, we're gonna go one, two, and up. Okay, here we go. One, right through it, Sam. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, six, seven, one more, and eight, and rack it. And go ahead and sit and breathe, okay? A lot of, lot of different varieties here, okay? okay? You could just do your bench on here, or you could superset this with a, an opposing movement. What I'd like to do is a low row. And on a low row, you could use, you know, a barbell bent over, because then I think you can get more speed. So pick, pick a weight or a manner of training that you can get more speed. You could do a horizontal chin, okay? And, and maybe we'll, we'll target that in an upcoming show. You could use another rubber band and hook that to something and pull fast, but you know, the idea is you go right from here to there, or you could just sit and rest. Now, how much rest would I recommend you take here? I, I, I'd, say, I'd say a minute, minimum. Okay. And in a minute's time, you're gonna get 90% recuperation. In three minutes time, you get about 100% recuperation. But the idea here, in not going too long, is it forces you to recruit other fibers. And as you activate those fibers, you develop that nervous system, you have the potential to become stronger. Okay, now I think roughly a minute's gone by, so we're gonna go again, you ready? And again, it's, it's all about speed here. You don't wanna go slow, you wanna blast it. One, two, hip. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and rack it. Sit up and rest. Now the next question is, how many sets do you do on this? Man, you can go anywhere from 5 to 11. Okay, I, I know I always say exercise is a game of angles, but sometimes doing a, you know, higher volume sets uh, is going to blast you a little bit more. There's lots of different strategies. There's lots of different ideas. Okay, so again, you could go supersetting with a low row type movement. Uh, you could do straight sets. And, and how many? I, I'd say anywhere from 5 to 11. Wow. And Along with this day, obviously, you're not going to do regular flat bench, okay, and, and, and get your weight up. You're not going to be doing push-ups. This, this is it, okay? okay? You might hit an incline, and along with the incline, if you're doing back, you might do a superset with pull-downs because those are similar angles. Right. You might do a pull-over type movement. You might do a fly, uh, but the idea would be, you know, faster type training, okay? So stay with that concept of of speed and that kind of blends into some strategies we'll be sharing with you on, on other shows as far as periodization this would be a speed type element just for the heck of it Sam let's do one more set okay one two hip here we go one two three four five six seven and rack it okay and sit up Ideally, you want to be able to have a weight that you don't need help. That might have been too heavy for us, okay? And again, six to eight reps, okay? Because you want to make sure that you can overcome that resistance without help. So okay. and I was just there to make sure that, you know, you didn't get caught like the rat in the cheese trap and all that stuff. But, 
you know, the rubber bands. This, is this the first time you've ever done rubber bands? Yes, sir. How did it feel? It feels good. You feel steady resistance all the way through. It increases, doesn't yeah, it? Yeah. Okay, it so it makes it harder. So, you know, again, the whole idea with weightlifting is let's shock the body. Let's do something different. I'll tell you what, rubber band, a little different. So if you're bored with your, your fitness program, try to rubber band. It, it, it's, it's, it adds a good, different element to your training. Thanks, Sam.